Well, a fine good afternoon all. This is Patricia and I'm traveling for history. I'm in, I'm at Brown Canyon Ranch in Sierra Vista, Arizona. And this, that's the ranch house over there. You watch my video on that. This is a water tank for the cattle. We have the expected outhouse right here. Let's go take a gander, shall we? Because we can't. Well, you've got to have good knees to sit down on this thing. Holy guacamole. No worries about flushing or plumbing in general for this thing. You know, uh, certainly in the Northeast, I imagine here as well, they've been doing uh, archaeological digs in uh, outhouses. So going through that stuff and what they found, things like... Um, liquor bottles and medicine bottles. Medicine bottles were mainly alcohol anyway. So, pretty interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, in case you're interested. Not sure they've done that here, but uh, they've certainly done that. And then we can see also there's a... Um, there's a... Um, holes on either side. I'm not sure what that was used for. Huh, curious. Well, it's supposed to be a shelf. Oh, maybe for toilet paper, to hold toilet paper? Actually, it wouldn't be toilet paper. Remember the Sears catalog? They likely had to uh, use that or some other cat catalog uh, like it. And here we have a windmill. I cannot see it myself because of the glare, but uh, it's a nasty glare. But... Uh, we can see that it's hooked to the water tank. Um, let's see if I can show you that. Um, I can't. Uh, oh, maybe it's down here. Anyway, so I read that windmills certainly out west. Well, I am out west. <laughs> The windmills were used to generate power to draw water. So, pretty nifty. And this is Dempster up there on the uh, blade. Um, and you oiled eight, eight foot, number 12? No. Alright. And we're going to uh, head over here into the um, ranch, the, um, the, um, the paddock. So glad I have a friend with you who knows these things, because, you know, I don't. Pause. All right, we're entering the paddock. Huge thanks to my friend for knowing these things. And we can see this, uh, water basin here. Imagine cattle would have drunk from it. And piping uh, to it. I would not try to drink that green sludge now. But um, nifty nonetheless. Oh, we need to go to the other side. All right, well, I'll meet you on the other side. All right, so if you come here, you need to take a right, come through this entrance here to, in order to enter this area so you just be aware of that <clears throat> all right and uh let's see well reinforced fencing i wonder if the granny cow were kept out here and uh, she lived, uh, Granny Cow was actually a cow. Um, I forget what, it was, what kind it was. But you can watch my video on the homestead and uh, learn more about her. But uh, she lived to be 23 and died of bone cancer of her horn. Horribly painful.
Okay. And we gotta go over there. So, hmm. Do I do a walk over here? I'm gonna try. Nifty, eh? Look at that stuff. I love uh, tool stuff. Um, Alright. What else can we see in here? A uh, wheelbarrow with hay. I want to get closer to see that kind of wheelbarrow. Holy cow. <clears throat> Box of horseshoes. I'm sure they're good luck. Right? It's so low. I don't think I've ever seen one so low. Because I'm filming from, with my with my um, my um, camera holder against my hip, huh? You have a wheel there, and the um, back is looks like even with the wheel in terms of height and the handles, and everything is metal. Wow. I would say bookshelf, but I'm betting that is not a bookshelf. Lots of uh, wire in here. You walk in, just watch your step. This looks like a trough. Might not be. Well, it kind of looks like one. I think it was a trough. Or is a trough. Corrugated metal, which will rust eventually out here. When rain hits that, that would have a, a really great loud sound, wouldn't it now? Yep. <clears throat> huh. And there it is. Moving.